Good morning children. So we have completed two lessons in class 6, isn't it? That is first lesson is our food and the second lesson is so the what do animals eat? That is about the fourth lesson it comes in your textbook. Now the textbook has been changed ma, by the government of Andhra Pradesh. This is the textbook of general science of class 6. So the portion that I have covered is as usual the same and the topics were also the same for the first lesson but the number of the lesson is being changed. The first lesson our food is changed to the two, the food we need. And the second lesson comes to that is the knowing about plants which I am going to tell you now. And we have completed the third lesson about what do animals eat that is about animals and their food. So the name of the lesson has been changed a light but the topic is the same completely. Okay ma? Now we are going to deal with the knowing about the plants. All of you try to take this textbook ma this year. Okay ma? Okay. Now let's start the lesson now. Coming to the knowing about the plants. So plants, before that I want to ask you the question that what are plants? Are they living or non-living? You say that they are living. How can you say that the plants are living? They have certain characteristic features like growth. In the smaller classes itself you have learned that plants grow, isn't it? So growth is basic characteristic feature of the plants which we can say that they are living things. Okay children, let's see the plant and parts of the plant first. Parts of the plant. If you see the plant kingdom, we have both flowering plants and non-flowering plants. In fact, generally we see the parts of the flowering plant. That is, it consists of the roots, next stem, for the stem it consists of the branches, okay children, so these are the leaves over which we can see here and the flower arranged. In the rough diagram of plants, I am showing you what are the different types of parts of the plant. So the different parts of the plant mainly being the roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. So, see here children. This is the root of the plant. This is stem. These are the leaves. This is flower. And this forms the fruit of the plant. So, you can easily observe the different parts of the plant through this. So, this is the rough diagram of the plants, parts of the plant. Okay, children. Now, let's see. What are the different functions that each part of the plant performs? If you see these parts, you can see that this is root. Root is observed below the soil. So normally root is below the soil and you can see the other parts of the plant above the soil. Apart from the root stem, leaves, flowers and fruits are seen above the soil. 
So this forms the shoot system of the plant. This forms the shoot system and this is the root system of the plant. So in fact the plant contains two systems, root system and shoot system. We study about the root system and also the shoot system. So what are the parts of the plant? How many types of roots are there? How many kinds of plants are available? What are the different types of leaves for each plant? In smaller classes you have studied about the different types of plants like shrubs, herbs, climbers, creepers, uh, what are the, uh, trees. So these are the different types of plants you have studied in your lower classes. Now you are going to learn about the parts of the plant the parts of the different systems that is root system and shoot system that is present in each plant and also their functions. Now coming to the functions of the roots. So you have already seen that roots are present below the soil. So what do they do? They absorb the water and mineral salts. So functions of roots if you take functions of roots. So they were found below the soil. They absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. Absorption. Absorb water and mineral salts. Before that we can see that it helps the plant to fix firmly into the soil. That is a fixation. Fixes the plant firmly in the soil. Did you understand children? The two main functions of the roots. So the roots bear all the other parts of the plant. In fact, it supports the plant firmly into the soil. So we can say that functions of the roots are absorption and fixation. Absorption and fixation. So what are the two main functions of the roots? The two main functions of the roots are Absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil and fixation of the plant firmly into the soil. So these are the two main functions of the roots. So if you see the root systems, we can see that there are different types of root systems in the plants. Before going detail in detail of the root system, I'll give a short notes about all the other parts of the plant. Stem. Stem bears all the other parts of the plant like leaves, flowers, fruits. So this stem here it supports or it gives, it bears all the other parts of the plant and conducts the water and food material to, from the roots to other parts of the plant. So the water that is absorbed by the root is conducted by the stem. Is it clear? No. Now we will see the functions of the stem. Functions of the stem are conduction and absorption. Conduction and, sorry, conduction and support. It gives support. The absorbed water by the roots is conducted to all the other parts of the leaf plant as the stem bears the, all the other parts of the plant and gives support to other parts of the plant to bear them. So this is the functions of the stem here. So these are the branches, this is the main stem and these are the branches. Is it clear children? That is the function of the stem. One is to give the support to all the other parts of the plant and to conduct the water that is absorbed by the roots to all the other parts of the plant. Next coming to the leaves. So this is the stem and this is leaves. When we go on to the leaves, so the functions of the leaves are as follows. See here ma, leaves. When you come across the leaves, the basic function of the leaf is to prepare the food for the plant. The process of preparation of food for the plant is called as photosynthesis. Leaves prepare the food material for the plant by taking water and mineral salts from the soil and in the presence of sunlight and air that is carbon dioxide from the air it takes in and prepare the food for the plant. So the leaves, the stomata that are present in the leaves help for the photosynthesis process. 
Now you should know what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis means preparation of food by the plants by using sunlight. Is it clear children? So then water and uh, uh, air uh, that is carbon dioxide from the air plants prepare their own food. As you know they are autotrophs or producers. They prepare their own food. So they are called as autotrophs. So plants are autotrophs. They prepare their food by themselves. So the one of the main major function of the leaves is preparation of food for the plant that is photosynthesis. Next respiration. This is also takes place in the leaves itself. They the exchange of gases that is taking in of carbon dioxide and release of oxygen takes place through the leaves itself. What are the different parts? I'll explain in the further classes. Now we'll see about the basic functions of the leaves. Next step is transpiration. The next function of the leaf is transpiration. What is transpiration? Excess water from the plant is released out through the stomatal pores that are present in the leaves. So you understand first that this transpiration process is carried out by the leaves. That is excess removal of excess water from the plant is carried out by the process of transpiration. So these are the three functions performed by the leaves. Now you know the functions of roots, absorption and fixation. Functions of stem, support and conduction of the water to the other plants. Next functions of the leaves, photosynthesis, respiration and transpiration. Now coming to the part of the flowers. We have seen the flowering plant itself, isn't it? So the flowers are in different colors. Different plants have different flowers and different flowers are of different colors. So normally the flowers, what is the role of the flowers? It is a basic important part of the plant where it attracts the insects for pollination. That is where the, it helps for the reproduction of the plants. The whole process, how it helps for the reproduction, you will be studying in further classes. So now you understand that the flower contains the sepals and which are in different colors which attract the insects which are responsible for pollination further helps for its reproduction process. So next comes the fruits. Flowers normally develop into the fruits. So where the fruits contain the seeds in them and the seeds develop the seeds develop into the fruits. Is it clear children? So this is about the different parts of the plant. Hope you have understood the different parts of the plant children. Once again I repeat all the parts of the plant. Parts of the plant are root. The plant consists of two systems. One is root system and the other is shoot system. The root system that there are different types of roots for different plants that I will take you in the further class. That is a, now you know what are the functions of the different parts of the plant. Roots helps for absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil and fix the plant firmly into the soil. That is the basic function of the root. Next stem. Stem conducts or it bathes all the other parts of the plant and conducts the water that is absorbed by the roots to and supplies to the other parts of the plant and breathe and again sends back to the roots. Next, leaves. The functions of the leaves are preparation of the food, exchange of gases and release of excess water from the plant. So these are all the functions that are like photosynthesis, respiration and transpiration that is carried out by the leaves. Further going to the flowers. Flowers are the attractive parts of the plant. They attract the insects for pollination where it helps for its reproduction that is the production of the new plants takes place. Next, fruits. Fruits are also the parts of the plant from where the flowers develop into the fruits. Fruit is the edible part of the plant. Do you understand children? So that can be eaten. So that is about the different parts of the plant. Hope you have understood the different parts of the plant. In the next class I will tell you about the types of root system and the different um, functions of the root system I will explain you through the experiment. Okay children, have a good day. Note down all the points. Thank you.